What's up YouTube? T Movies here. Now with the new Dora movie, Dora and the Lost City Go Hidden Deers of this week, I decided to go ahead and do my top ten favorite Nickelodeon movies. Now, yes, I actually just did my top ten favorite Disney Channel Origin movies, but these are from Nickelodeon and Nickelodeon has some they've had hits and misses with their movies. You know, I've I've really dug most of the stuff they've done. You know, whether it's uh sometimes T V movies they've their uh, heads with. Sometimes their TV movies are not like that Fred movie. <laughs> yeah. Fred the movie, don't, I mean, that that kid was annoying, but whatever. Um, but these are movies that actually mainly uh, got the actor release, unlike Disney Channel original films, which is Coach TV. But uh, with that being said, here's my list. Alright. Coming in at number 10 is going to be Hey Arnold the movie. Now, they, they did release one that got released, like, in 2018 or 17, I believe. But, back, they also released, like, a, a Hey On a movie that got released in early 2000. I think 2002 or 2001 or 3 or 2, something like that. But, I really quite enjoy Hey On a, You know, I, I grew up watching Nickelodeon and Disney stuff. And, Hey On a, Hey On a was, it was a great so I really quite enjoyed it, Ayana. And they did they do a movie which I think it got to actual release. I, I gotta check that, but uh But still, Ayana the movie, I mean you got Paul Savino who plays like the villain in this. I mean, Paul Savino in a kid's movie. That's like having Joe Pesci in a kid's movie, but yeah, yeah, Joe Pesci did uh, Home Alone, so you know. And I mean that's like having Andrew Dice play in a kid's movie. I mean uh, Paul Savino is not a kid-friendly actor, but I thought Paul Savino as the uh, sleazy slime boy who uh, pretty much takes down like a, who pretty much turns like his neighborhood into like a uh, mall and all. I thought Paul Savino was great as a role. And of course, you got the uh, you know voice cast who returns as uh, Arnold and the other gang. And yeah, I really like uh, Hey Arnold the movie. And if you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. And not to mention the. Uh, the one that got released on uh, on Nickelodeon, uh, Jungle Something, I can't remember the actual name, but it was actually, that one was pretty good too, so. Okay. Coming in at number nine is going to be a, a film I find to be really on the rain, and it's a comic called Fun Size. Now, Fun Size starred Victoria Justice, who's of course best known for Victoria's, so they were trying to capitalize on her uh, film stardom. Sad to say, her film star did not kick off well with Fun Size. I mean, the movie did not, For one, the movie did got released around the same time that uh, we had Hurricane Sandy, so... I can see a little bit why the movie did not do so well that week. Because that same week, uh, Hurricane Sandy also happened, and... Yeah, that... But Fun Size, I really quite enjoyed. Like, it starred Victoria Justice as this, uh... As, like, this high school senior who decides to go to, like, a Halloween party. And she has to, of course, take her uh, brother with her. And her brother is, like, all dressed up as Spider-Man and all that. So, kind of weird. Like, there's people who think, who's saying, um, who thought that he shouldn't have a Spider-Man costume because the movie is not from Sony and all. I'm like, guys, really? But, uh, still, fun stuff. So and uh, the brother ends up, you know, going missing. And he actually gets this. The brother ends up um, pairing off with, uh, with the Silicon Valley dude, uh, Thomas Meldich. And, like, you know, Thomas Meldich has, like, a problem with this, uh, you know, a drug, like, this drug guy uh, played by uh, Johnny Knoxville, and he's pretty much uh, on, on uh, Meldich's tail. Don't be, don't be the Jimmy Neutron movie. Right. Anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, uh, had to, had to sort of an audience. But uh, anyway, yeah, fun size. I mean, Giant Knockville kind. We kind of played like a sleaze ball in this, and I love Giant Knockville in this. And Victoria Justice's friend, I uh, was played by uh, Jane Levy um, from uh, from Eva's Dead fame and Purgatory, and you also had uh, Tom, uh, Thomas Mann, uh, the dude from uh, Project X. Uh, Chelsea Handler was in this. I, it's a really funny, entertaining film. 
And they also featured like a. Uh, they also featured a new song by uh, Holly Ray Jepsen. And that was a pretty good song, by the way. And yeah, Fun Size, it's a really fun, entertaining fam. Like, it's not really much of a kids' movie, to be honest with you, because they're all, like, I believe it was Peach that Team Wayne got released. Because I could see why. There are some. Like, there's a scene where uh, Tom, Thomas Mildes, like, is new to at um, the like, towards the uh, end. So, and there are some, uh, there are some, like, drug and uh, alcohol references. So, yeah, this is not your average, uh, yeah, this isn't your average uh, Nickelodeon uh, film, you know. But, and despite having Victoria Justice, who's a Nickelodeon star, yeah, uh, Fun Size was, it was a pretty good film. Like, if you guys haven't seen Fun Size yet, go check it out, and it is a really, it's an underrated gem. Like, I wish the movie got, like, did well when it got released, and it didn't, like, it didn't really get well received, or, and it didn't do so well financially or, uh, correctly, but I really quite enjoyed it. I, if you guys haven't seen Fun Size, check it out, it's a really good one. Coming in at number 8 is going to, my number 8 pick is going to Charlotte's Web, which is based on the classic, uh, book, and it's Features the voice of uh, Julia Roberts as uh, Charlotte. Uh, Dakota Fanning was the uh, young girl who, uh, who pretty much ends up owning uh, Wilbur the pig. And you also had a really great voice cast. Like you had uh, Steve Buscemi who, uh, who voiced uh, Templeton the mouse. Uh, you also had um, Saturday the Entertainer, uh, Oprah Winfrey. Uh, Thomas Hay and Church. I mean, Reba McIntyre lends her voice. It had a really like if you thought if you thought the Lion King remake had a great voice cast, this had an even better one. I mean, such a really cool voice cast, and it's not as good as the uh, anime version as the anime film, but I still quite enjoy uh, the live action remake. And if you guys haven't seen the Shots Web film, like both the uh, Live action and the anime. If you guys haven't seen both of them, go check them out. There's some really good films. Alright, coming in at number seven. Now, this is actually a weird one because I'm not really a fan of the TV show, to be honest with you. But, number seven is it's going to Spongebob a Sponge Out of Water. Now, I'm actually going to go with the sequel, because I, mean, I quite enjoyed the sequel slightly more than the uh, first film. Now, it's weird. I'm not at all into Spongebob. Like, I was never a, spo a hardcore Spongebob guy. Quite frankly, I'm, I never really cared much for the show. But the Spongebob, like, the SpongeBob movies, I actually really quite enjoy. I mean, I find them to be pretty entertaining. And, I mean, the sequel, you had Antonio Banderas as a pirate. One more key acts one. And Tom Kenny, shout out to Tom Kenny, such a great voice actor for SpongeBob. Uh, you also had, I mean, you had the great Clancy Brown. I mean, he voices a Mr. Krabs. One more key acts one. And this movie, of course, uh, makes like animation and a uh, live action. And they did a great job with this. I, and not to mention, we got a SpongeBob 3 coming out uh, next, actually, next summer, like in May of next year, it comes out. And so. It's called Wonder for Spongebob, by the way, and, you know, I'm pretty sure we're probably going to get a trail for that soon. I'm thinking, but, uh, yeah, Spongebob 1 and 2, I, I really quite enjoy it, but the Spongebob shows, I never really quite got on board with, so, even as a kid, I was never into them, so, yeah. Alright, coming in at number 6 is going to be... I'm going to add Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2014 live action of film with you really think it'll be a Disney Christian film? With Mega Fox as a brand name. You had um who else? Oh yeah, you had a uh, Will Arnett. Uh, you also had um I mean Mickey Milkovich from uh Shameless, uh the actor um Noel Fisher. He actually landed his voice as the uh, as a Michelangelo, so there's that. I really quite enjoy this. I mean, it's produced by Michael Bay. Yes, I know. Lots of people are going to say, Michael Bay. 
I, I really quite enjoy Michael Bay stuff. And it's not even, like, it's not directed by him, granted. It's mainly, um, you know, produced by him. But I still quite enjoy it. It's really funny. It's entertaining. The Turtles all actually look really cool. And, yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed both this and the sequel that got released as well. So, hold on, I hope we'll see another one. I know we, there's, like, a, a TMNT show on Nickelodeon and all of that, but I'm still hoping we see a film version, like, another film version, but we'll see. All right, coming in at number five is going, is going to The Adventures of Tintin. I mean, this is based on a, um, it is based on a worldwide uh, book series. You know, you got the voice talents of, you know, you got the uh, voice talents of uh, Jamie Bell as the entire role, uh, Dana Craig, Andy Serkis, um, Simon Pegg, Nick Frost, really awesome voice cast. It's directed by Steven Spielberg, a great animation in it. Such a really interesting uh, film. I mean, it did not even get nominated for Best Anime Feature, believe it or not. But, it's still a really solid one. I mean, it's... You know, it's pretty... It's like... It's, uh, you know, really entertaining. It's... It's a really good one. If you guys haven't seen uh, Adventure of Tintin yet, definitely check that one out. Coming in at number four is going to Rugrats Go Wild. Now, Rugrats Go Wild is actually a crossover of Rugrats and the Wild Thornberries. Now, they did do a Rugrats movie as well, but... But I really quite enjoy, uh, you know, Rugrats Go Wild. I mean, it was pretty cool seeing two of, like, the iconic uh, Nickelodeon characters all in one. Like, you got uh, the you know, Wild Dornberry characters with the Rugrats characters. I always found that should be uh, pretty cool. And, yeah, if you guys haven't, like... You know, I've always liked... You know, I've, like I said, I grew up with Nickelodeon, so I have seen uh, Rugrats and Wild Dornberries. And Rugrats have done lots of couple of movies. Like, they've done uh, Rugrats in Paris. They've done Rugrats in the movies. But, uh, yeah... Yeah, Rugrats Go Wild is a really decent one, and if you guys haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Oh, and not to mention, we got Rugrats Live Action Movie coming out in 2020, so look at that. Oh, wait. By the way, fun fact, the voice of Spike... We're probably not even going to realize this. The voice of Spike is... The one who voices Spike is Bruce Willis, so there's a little tidbit for you there. And uh, you also got uh, Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers, Lacey Chabert, who is, of course, the original Matt Griffin. I mean, interesting voice cast. And if, and if you guys haven't seen Rugrats Go Wild yet, it's a really decent one. Coming in at number three is going to Jimmy Neutron Boy Genus, the movie, of course. Now, they did do it, like, there was the uh, classic uh, cartoon series. And I really quite enjoyed uh, the film version. Now, believe it or not, this movie actually scored an Oscar nomination for Best Anime Feature. Like, it was nominated with Shrek and uh, Spirit Away. Obviously, Shrek uh, ended up winning. And it was actually the first ever anime, like, this Shrek and, uh, and Spirit Away was the first film to ever get nominated for Best Anime Feature. Because, like, that was, you know, the year that uh, the anime feature category you know, was, ended up becoming a dang, and I know there's people who's not into that category, but, and Jimmy Neutron, like, if you guys never seen the anime Jimmy Neutron, it's a really good one, I mean, it's, it's pretty much like, uh, Dexter Laboratory and Rick and Morty or on which one, and it's, it's a good show, and they, of course, spawned a movie of it, and, yeah, I quite enjoy Jimmy Neutron, the movie, it's a pretty fun, entertaining, uh, anime film. Like, the animation, the animation style is very different than the, uh, the animation style in the movie is very different than the TV show, because it was, but it was still really decent. 
And yeah, if you guys haven't seen Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius, both the show and the movie, go check them out. Alright, coming in at number two is... Number two is going to Lemony Snicket's Series of Fortune Events. Now, Lemony Snicket's is, you know, based on the uh, book, and you got Jim Carrey as a count as uh, the character of uh, of Count Olaf. Uh, you got um, Emily, like a very young Emily Browning in this. Uh, you also had uh, the Street Monster, Meryl Streep was in this. Billy Connolly, I mean. And it also spawned into like, a TV show with Neil Patrick Harris. So, there's that. And yeah, Lemmy Snicket is a really... It's a really uh, good one, I mean. Jim Carrey, like, I really love Jim Carrey's performance in this. I thought he was great. And it was also directed by uh, Brad Silverling, who also gave us uh, Casper. And, and yeah, it's a really good one. You know, uh, great, like, great performance by Jim Carrey. I mean, he was very cuckoo in this. I mean, that's seriously a character that Giant Death probably would have played. <coughs> but Jim Carrey still was great at that and yeah, definitely go check out Lemony Snickets if you guys haven't seen it. Alright. Now, my favorite uh, Nickelodeon movie there is, is going to Good Burger. Now, Good Burger is, of course, a movie version of the uh, of the skit from all that with uh, Kel Mitchell and Keenan Thompson. If you guys never seen any of the um, Good Burger skits on, uh, sketches on all that, Go check them out. They are some of the funniest stuff you'll see. And with, and that uh, and that become really popular, so uh, they decided to go ahead and did a movie of it with uh, Kia Thompson and uh, Kel Mecha. You also had Sinbad was in this. And I mean, Kel Mecha, I mean, he, his character is a pretty dumb cashier. I mean, he has like that wacky voice and and I really quite enjoyed Cal Machaz, that character. You know, I really like his uh, dynamic chemistry with uh, Kena Thompson. Uh, like I said, Sinbad was great in this. It's a really funny film, and... Yeah, I, I'm still holding out hope for a good burger, too. I know Kena Thompson and Cal Mitchell has... I know they actually kind of want to do a one, another one, and we just saw how great Cal Mitchell just did uh, back as a character on the uh, All That Revival. And he still has it, by the way. Kel Mitchell, like Kel Mitchell as Ed, as the uh, bumbly uh, idiot cashier uh, Ed, Kel Mitchell still has it perfectly. And and I'll be down to see a Good Burger sequel because the first film is just it's really funny. It's such an entertaining film, and Ken Thompson and Kel Mitchell just those two work just perfectly together. So. Yeah, if you guys never seen good, the Good Burger movie, or if you guys never seen the uh, Good Burger skits, go check some of those stuff out. It is some of the funniest stuff. But that's pretty much it. Let me do the quick run now. Number 10, Hey On of the Movie. 9, Fun Size. 8, Charlotte's Web. 7, SpongeBob, SpongeBob War. Uh, 6, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Uh, 5, The Adventures of Tintin. Four, uh, Rugrats Go Wild. Three, Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. Two, Lemony Snickers. One, Good Burger. Now there's few. Right. Now there's those of other ones I probably could have added. Um, other Nickelodeon movies includes uh, Harriet the Spy. Anyone remember that one? I think that was their first feature, by the way, with uh, Michelle Strasberg. Uh, there was also uh, uh, Snow Day. Um, Rugrats in Paris, Clock Stoppers, which I also was a Disney, uh, was a Disney, um, film. Uh, the Wild Thornberry movies, the Spongebob movie, Yours, Mine, and Ours. Did not care for Nacho Libre. Uh, Barnyard. Um, uh, definitely not, uh, there is, there is, of course, the uh, Eddie Murphy classic, Imagine That, which is not good. Hotel for Dogs. Uh, definitely not Wonder Park. Definitely not The Last Airbender. Uh, Rango was okay. 
uh, monster trucks is decent. Some pretty good stuff there. But, let me leave to you guys. What are some of your favorite Nickelodeon movies? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This here is Team Movies, sign off.